right guys, hey, welcome to the video and here today we're going to once again cover this sig patches situation and hopefully help you get things sorted out so you can be on your way with your modded switch and your games would be working again and all that good stuff. And if for some reason, even after we do everything here in this video, you still have an issue with the games, make sure you watch near the end of the video because I'll give you a recommendation or two as to what it is you need to do in order to hopefully get uh, your backups back up and running again. Now this is focused for people who use Atmosphere, whether you're a plain Jane vanilla Atmosphere user, or you use Hecate to launch Atmosphere, or you use Cosmos, which of course comes with Atmosphere built in. Now I made a video not too long ago showing you what it is that you needed to do, but things have changed even a little bit since then. Even for people who are using Cosmos and Hecate, there's yet something else that has changed since that video, so make sure you watch. And this video is not going to show you how to hack or mod or jailbreak a switch or whatever. It's already assumed that you know how to do that and that you know your way around a modded switch. This is focusing strictly on the SIG patches situation. We're going to explain that for a little bit, explain which files you need, the differences between them, where to get them from. And then I'll show you real quick what it is that you need to do depending on your situation on how you use Atmosphere. So if you need to find out how to jailbreak your switch from the get go, there's plenty of videos out there that show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to start off here with just some FYI type stuff. This is a post that explains the whole situation regarding the atmosphere patches uh, for your modded switch, it tells you what changes happened, what should be used in which case scenario. There's a lot of good information here. It may take you about five to 10 minutes to read it all, but it is extremely informative. And I recommend that you take the time out and go over all the information that's here because it is extremely useful. Okay, so now with that, let's head on over here to this post. All right, and this post here is titled Latest FS and Acid Patches for Cosmos. But even though it says for Cosmos, this, what I'm going to show you works for everything, whether you're on plain Jane vanilla atmosphere or using Hecate to launch atmosphere or Cosmos itself. Now you're going to see here a pick of the SIG patch installer, but we will not be using that. However, I will go over it later on. What we need to focus on are the two zip files at the bottom and pay close attention. As of right now, these two zip files are up to date and they're current and they contain everything that you need. Each one contains ES patches as well as FS patches and acid patches. So they have everything. If you're using plain Jane vanilla atmosphere, in other words, you're using the Fusi primary bin file of atmosphere and you're injecting it with Tegra RCM or whatever, then you use the Fusi dot zip file. If you're using Hecate to launch Atmosphere or you're using Cosmos, which of course comes with Hecate and Atmosphere built in, then you will also use the Hecate zip. These two files have everything you need and regardless of your scenario, they should work fine for you. Meaning if you have older firmware like 8.0, 9.0, 9.2, and you have more up-to-date current atmosphere or Hecate or an up-to-date current Cosmos, this will work. But this also works if you're using new firmware and the newer stuff. So if you're on 10.0.2, which is current as of right now, and you're also using the latest atmosphere or the latest Cosmos or whatever, this will work as well. So basically, all of your bases are covered as long as you use one of these two files, depending on how you use atmosphere. Okay, so now before we continue, I want you to focus your attention on these two links. You have a couple of GitHub links here, one to the FS and ACID patches and one to the ES patches. Notice though that they're separate. 
these files here have combined all of these patches for you already. Of course, you could do it on your own. You could go to each one of these pages and just combine the contents of each and you'll come up with the same thing that you already have here. So this just saves you a couple of steps. But let me explain the whole FS Acid and ES Patch situation. For those who are on firmware 10.0 and up, and your atmosphere is current, your cosmos is current, apparently you don't need ES patches to play your backed up games, you just need FS and Acid. So you would use Fusey or Hecate depending on how you use atmosphere, and that's it. Now, the ES patches are used for those who have an up-to-date and current atmosphere and or Cosmos, whatever, but your firmware is below 10.0, like 9.2 and below that, then you will need the ES patches in addition to the FS and ACID ones. So this is why I tell you, just grab the ones from here because they've already combined all the patches for you. And if you are on newer firmware like 10.0 and up, if for some reason the ES patches are not needed, the system is just going to ignore them. It's not gonna brick you or anything like that. That's why I tell you to grab these from here because it covers everyone for pretty much every case scenario and you don't have to worry about which patches are for you. Okay, so let's go ahead now and cover the SIG patch installer situation. This is a homebrew. It's an app like any other, a .nro file that installs easily. However, it seems like only people who are on 10.0 and up firmware can take advantage of this because this only installs FS and ACID patches. As we established earlier, those of you who are on 9.2 firmware and below will not be able to use this because you need ES patches in order to be able to run your backups and things like that. So if you are on 10.0 and up and it's assumed that you're on a more current and up-to-date atmosphere or cosmos or whichever one of those setups that you use then technically you can use this because with 10.0 and up and with current atmosphere current cosmos and things like that you don't need the es patches anymore now for some reason everything you have is current and you use this and you're still having problem launching games you can always come to the es github page that we were at earlier and just manually install the es patches on to the root of your SD card and you should be good to go. Of course, in this video though, we're going to do everything manually because it's easy anyway. All right, so with all that out of the way, we know that these two zip files have absolutely everything we need. Go ahead and grab the one that works for you, either the Fusey for those who are using Plain Jane Vanilla Atmosphere or Hecate for those that are using Hecate to launch Atmosphere or Cosmos. Grab either one and I will meet you at my desktop. Okay, so now that we have these, we're gonna cover um, how to do this for all three groups of people, starting with the first two groups, which are the easiest. Let's go with those who use vanilla plain Jane Atmosphere. For those of you who use Atmosphere that way, grab the Fusey zip, copy the Atmosphere folder straight to the root of your SD card, and that's it, that's all you gotta do. Those who use Hecate to launch Atmosphere, you'll do the same thing here with the Hecate zip. Grab it take its two folders that are here and place them on the root of your SD card. And that's it for you guys. Now in each situation, if you're ever prompted to overwrite or replace files, make sure you hit yes. Also, it is highly recommended that you be up to date on everything to make sure you have the best compatibility. So make sure you're using the latest atmosphere, try and be on the latest firmware. If you're using Hackety, use the latest Hackety. Now, for those of you who use Cosmos, let's go ahead and cover that. By the way, for these two groups of people, if after you've done this, you are experiencing problems with your games, they're not launching correctly, you're getting errors with them, maybe some work, some don't, I will tell you near the end of the video, I'll give you a recommendation on what it is that you have to do. Okay, let's go to the Cosmos people now. 
Okay, and let's start here first because something has changed with this latest Cosmos and I just need to go over that real quick because I know some people are curious about it. They've added a minimal Cosmos version here with this 16.1 update. So minimal Cosmos updates only the key files that you need such as anything that is related to Atmosphere, Hecate, Nix, and Cosmos itself. Those key files all get updated and you'll be on 16.1. It comes with the latest homebrew launcher and whatever the latest homebrew menu are. So it comes with those two, but it comes with no other homebrews whatsoever. The regular Cosmos one has all the same key files, but comes with a bunch of homebrews so you can choose which one you want normally these homebrews are updated versions so if you already have those homebrews installed and you grab the full package then it will update those homebrews to the latest version if it needs to so those are the difference between the two if you want all of your homebrews to stay intact and you don't want to mess with them then just use minimal cosmos and you'll be good to go and if you're using cosmos for the very first time then i recommend you use the full one okay so now here we are at the root of my sd card so you can get to yours however you want by connecting it to your pc or via ftp or however and i have all of my cosmos files here i've updated it i chose to do it with the a full version. So now what we're going to do to update our Cosmos with the SIG patches is we're going to go to the hackatee.zip file, the, the one that has the SIG patches, and we're going to do something a little bit different here. What we're going to do is grab the atmosphere folder and the bootloader folder. Let's extract them here to the desktop. Okay. Now we'll just take the atmosphere one and we will drag and drop it to the root of the SD card. If you're asked to replace or overwrite, just hit yes. Now go into the bootloader folder. The bootloader folder has a hecate underscore IPL dot any file. We are going to delete it because there's already one that comes with Cosmos and we are going to modify it just a little bit. So once you've deleted it from here, now take that bootloader folder copy it and paste it to the root of your SD card and hit replace if you're asked to or overwrite it. Okay, and that's it. Now let's go to that bootloader folder that's on the root of your SD card and you will see that there's that Hecate underscore IPL dot any file already there. So let's go ahead and extract it. Once it's extracted, we're going to edit it with any type of notepad program. I'm using notepad plus plus. All right. So now that you have it open, we are going to add two lines of text here, but it's going to be the same thing. We're just going to do it twice. Basically, we need to type this the way you see it just like that. And I will post it down in the description as well. Hopefully I won't forget, but you're going to type this just like this with no spaces. So kip one patch equals no sig chk. You're going to type it just like that right here. You're going to come to this custom firmware section where it says CFW sysnand. Okay. You're going to go here to where it says secondary bin press enter and then just type it right there just like that and then you're going to come here to the cfw emu mmc cluster and go again to where it says secondary bin go right to the end of the n hit enter and once again type it or paste it right there now you're going to save it okay once it's saved you're going to go ahead and put it back to your SD card. It goes into the bootloader folder of your SD card. So here it is right here. I'm going to put it back. You're going to ask to replace or override it. Hit yes. And that's it. You are done. You are now fully updated. Your Cosmos is updated. Your SIG patches are updated. You can put the SD card back into your switch, boot up your system and use everything like normal. Okay, so now for anybody who is having trouble with your games, whether you're using Plain Jane Vanilla Atmosphere or with Hecate or with Cosmos, if after you've updated everything and you've updated the SIG patches properly, you notice that your homebrews are working, but maybe some of your games are not, or maybe none of your games are working, but they used to before. Now, when you try and launch them, you're getting maybe corruption errors or some type of software error message 
then unfortunately, one of the things you may have to do to get everything working again is delete the game and reinstall it. But there's a process. You need to delete it properly from the home menu, then use Gold Leaf to remove any unused tickets and then reinstall the game. This video explains the process. I walk you through uh, the process with Gold Leaf and what it is you have to do after you delete your games. You do not have to watch the whole video. You only need to start from the 10 minute and eight second mark and there's only about two minutes that you need to watch and I cover the process with you and that works. I know it's kind of sucky, but once you've updated everything properly, this usually gets your games working again like 99% of the time. All right, guys, and that is going to do it for this video. Sorry, it went on a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but I just wanted to be detailed. And if you found anything here useful, informative, helpful, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation to the channel, you know, the best way to do any of that stuff is just to hit that like button. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate you guys watching. Much love going out to everybody out there. Be careful, guys. Be safe, but have fun. And we will see you on the next one.